everyone, Crow here again. Got another video game request. This time it's by Amos Bro, and he requested to see a video game based on one of my favorite, one of my favorite movies of all times, and this is Bill and Ted's excellent video game adventure. So let's pop it in, turn it on, Rufus, right off the bat. Uh, yeah, I haven't really played this game at all. I think it's some kind of weird adventure game, and we'll just see how far I could get in like. 10 minutes, and uh, you know what? I just realized this is an LJN game. Bad, bad LJN. Let's see how much of a mess they made of this game. Well, right off the bat, this is not a, a, a theme song that has anything to do with Bill Ted, so. Once upon a time, somewhere along the temporal continuum, continuum, you see Ted going to talk to Rufus. Greetings, my excellent friend. Your time traveling skills are needed once again. No, didn't they do that in the... Th no, they didn't do any time traveling in the sequel, did they? The sequel, I didn't really like at first, but it, it's grown on me. I, I love the two. I love to pop the one in and then the one right after that. They're, they both have their uh, strong points. <laughs> I love this movie so much. Um, we'll miss their concert. They'll launch your careers. Um, I'm afraid to hit the button. First check the historical telephone directory to see whose number has been changed. Travel to their world. No problem, oh mighty Rufus dude. Young Keanu Reeves. That almost looks even younger than he did in the movie. Unfortunately, I can only leave you a payphone. Why not? If it's so important. <laughs> if the balance of the whole universe revolves on them getting back in time, why getting why give them a payphone? Why give them an extra task? coins to help you out. And he, he only gives him 15 coins? He's from the future. He's Rufus. Shouldn't he have a lot more money than that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to say that the, the movies weren't full of plot holes or anything. Uh, especially with the time traveling aspect. But... <laughs> I've never understood why if they're Getting the band and everything was so vital to, like, the, uh, the rest of the universe, and the people from the future knew that. Why did they make them go back in time and do all this stuff? Couldn't they have, you know, intervent in intervented without even letting Bill and Ted know? Okay, let's, um, seems to be more hubbub -hub about time machine. Why couldn't Bill and Ted talk to Rufus at the same time? Those two were joined at the hip. Cleopatra? Confucius? King Arthur? Christopher Columbus? Paul Revere? Jesse James? Al Capone? Elvis? Julius Caesar? I guess that's the one I'm supposed to go to because it looks like the number is wrong. This has got to be one big ass book if if uh, every page is somebody different. Could you imagine how big your phone book would be if um, <laughs> if only one page was well, with one person and had their picture in it? Oh, there it is. So I guess we need to go there. How do we go there? What do I do? Dial the number that's blinking or 555-6842? So do I go here then? Oh, I see. I hit select to bring up the phone. Oh, lots of time being wasted here. <laughs> 6842. Press A. Prepare to enter the circuits of time. Uh, what the hell am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to... Am I supposed to go here? I guess that's... What is going on? Oh, wait. What? Um, I'm so lost, I don't know what's going on.
Hello everyone, I just reset the game because I couldn't figure out what I was doing. and None of the facts as I looked at uh, could help. And uh, getting back to the phone book, it looks like a different num uh, num name. The number has gone under a different name. So I'm going to go and select it again. Uh, 6842. 555. 6842. Push A. And then we're into the circuits of time. Now apparently what I'm supposed to do is just click on here. Okay. Now, what the f Wait a minute, what? Okay, wait, what? Oh, I see. I'm just supposed to wait. By hitting the button. What the hell? Why did they make this as confusing as they did? Dialing the phone! <laughs> There's a skull there! God. You know, this went a lot faster in the movie. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Why is it acting all different now? Out of coins, cannot complete the caller's dial. What? All that for nothing? He's giving me more coins now. Okay, cut. When I get out of the circuits of time, I'll come back. Okay, I finally got out of that. What the hell was that all about? Oh man, this I Okay, okay, I got it. Let's talk to this dude here. No coins, worthless scum. You leave me to What the hell? Why would this medieval guy care about coins from the future. They'd be worthless to him. They throw me in the dungeon where I could just walk right outside? Uh. Well, he's got a mighty jump there. What the fuck? Am I throwing to them? Can I talk to these guys? I've heard something about string. Okay, so let's go north. Well, do I have a compass? No coins. Wait a minute, what the? Okay, this game really does kind of suck. I'm sure there's more depth to it, but... Okay, I... <laughs> Weird. Well, now I can only walk on the path? It makes no sense! I didn't even see that guy on the screen! Okay! I'm done with this game. Uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Video Game Adventure. Like most LGN games, this game sucks. It's it's not really fun at all. It's full of unnecessary things. And it, it really has nothing to do with the movie. I mean, well, I guess it does have a little bit to do with the movie, but it's not fun. The movie is more fun. Um, that's it. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Oh, hello, booby.